You're still watching Lions Den. Last to face the Lions today is 35 year old Mo Chukuma Charles, a former interior designer who now majors in the processing of food. My name is Mo Chukuma Charles. I'm the managing director of Chatpel Edge Resources. We indulge in the processing, packaging, and distribution of agro produce. Uh, we started with an offset of brown rice, Pecham's brown rice. Uh, we started production 2016, November 2016 to be precise. Today we do about 45 million naira annually on gross revenue, and then we make about uh, 12 million naira on income. The cost of Pecham's brown rice, 5 kg, comes to us to about 16,500 naira for the pack size. The demand for rice is so enormous that local production cannot meet demand. There is need for us to mitigate this gap. And this is why I felt that there is need for me to come here to pitch my business idea to you. Perchance Brown Rice intends to also go into other areas of production like oats, like the long grain rice. I mean, who says I can't go into salt? Who says I can't go into sugar? This is the future. So I felt um, I need the 100 million naira investment for 20% of my company to be able to unnest all these gaps that over the five years I've witnessed, I've seen by myself. So this is my humble submission. Thank you very much. Chukuma Charles is here with Pecham's Brown Rice, the flagship product of his agro-processing and distribution business. He is asking for a 100 million naira investment in exchange for a 20% stake in the company. And Adenike Ogunlesi will commence the sifting process. Hi, Charles. Fine, ma. Are you packaging the rice or are you growing and farming the rice? I simply package, ma. We simply process and package. We have alliances with rice millers in the north because we can't do everything by ourselves. We need to focus on your strength, which is distribution. But we also do the packaging by ourselves. So right now you're just creating a brand. Brand, yes. That's that right. you are putting through the entire supermarket chain. Chains, yes. All over Nigeria. All over Nigeria. Okay. How much money have you put mm. into this thing? Uh, personally, I've put in more than 10 million into the business. Mm -hmm. And over the years, I've had to plow back my profits to okay. you know, increase. Because last year I had issues with meeting up with demands. How do you arrive at a valuation of 500 million? Which rice packaging company is today at that type of valuation? We have the Big Bulls, and it does fantastically well in the market. I can do better than Big Bull if I have every factors of production. Ah, if I have every... Yes, sir. If I have every factor of production, I will be bigger than Mark Zuckerberg. Yes, sir, but it's more than just having... <laughs> but I am not. It's more than just having the factors of production. I'm passionate about this. This is what I've lived for for the past five to six years. What are you going to do with the 100 million? We're going to purchase machineries, automated pack and seal machineries. Oyskers, the distoners. Huskers. Oyskers, yeah. That is what you yes, in husking the shell. The rice. shell, yeah, from the paddy. From yeah. The paddy. Why would you be doing that? But you that? are at the tail end of the value chain. Because Why would you be at the farm gate? The whole of Lagos states do not have rice meal. It's a business opportunity. Oh, you want to set up a rice meal? Yes, sir. Now it that's a it's different. easier for me. Now that would that's have, different. That would, different be, that would be the answer, not, mm. not all the other equipment you're talking about. No, oh, when I say rice meal, sir, yes. it's for my own distribution, my own product distribution. I'm not doing it for the public. So it's a mini meal? It's a mini meal, exactly. Yes, Total sir. comes up to how much if you are importing it? It's about uh, 50 to 60 million naira, sir. And where does the rest of the money go? I'm going to acquire a land somewhere in Marlboro, where a plot of land is sold for 5 million naira. I can acquire two plots of land there, that's 10 million. Because I know in the next three years, it's not going to be 10 million again. Is that why you are investing in the land? I'm investing in the land because I want to be able to incorporate all these machineries, to be able to produce. To, I mean, you have you know, more facility for warehousing. You can store your product for administrative work. And then you know, the distribution can take off from there. Chukuma's intention to start a new business in the near future 
has thrown stones in what has otherwise been an impressive pitch. But Bolaji Balogun wants to hit the reset button by shining the light on Chukuma's background. Tell me, what did you do before you started producing rice? I was an interior designer. Okay. How long did you do that for? I did that for two years. Okay. And before that, what did you do? Well, I used to work with my dad. My dad is an entrepreneur. I used to be his general manager after my education in UK. I was with him for like two years. The experience was very, very much useful for me. And then before then, I used to work with an oil and gas company in Lagos. Here. You've done a lot of different things. Yes, sir. Are you sure you won't get tired of this? I won't, sir. Because I know what this would offer in the next But you're five. already tired of it because um, if you've, you've run this business for five years, you've created 12 million Naira profits per year. So this is the thing you've done the longest in your life so Thank far, you, right? Thank you, sir. And the most successful thing, I assume. Why are you already bored of this, this band you're in? I'm not bored of it. We are trying to raise 100 million to do a new business. I'm not bored of it, sir. I just want to make it better. You're asking for a lot of money at an extremely high valuation to start a new business that's unrelated to, well, that's related, but not growing the successful business you've already created. Um, for that reason alone, unfortunately, I'm out. It's okay, sir. Paul Thank you, sir. refuses to take a portion of Pecham's brown rice. Now, Dan has questions about something the entrepreneur said earlier. Charles, you said you cannot meet demand. That means your problem is not demand. Your problem is supply. So if you say you cannot meet demand of what you're doing now, that's why I'm worried about going into doing other things when you have a demand to meet. You know, brown rice is a product that has a particular season when you grow it. You can't meet demand because not I don't have the money to buy the rice, but because it goes off season at that point in time. Then why do I need the investment? I want to be able to store this rice enough to go for a calendar year so that when it goes off season, I still have enough stock. When I was growing like you, I, d I didn't have to own a warehouse. I just bought a space in a warehouse. So if there's demand and you have the cash flow to buy more, you don't have to own your, when your own warehouse. In fact, these days you don't have to own anything. You can own part of it and try and grow organically, particularly when you're in a space where there's demand. I'm afraid you fell short of the mark in terms of the numbers you want and what you intend to do with it. That's really the only reason I will not be investing, so I'm out. Thank you very much, sir. Do you draw a salary from this business? I do not, sir. I plow back everything I have into it. I've decided not to take salary from it. I only do my essential expenses. I just want to see it grow. So, Charles, how do you support your family? I support from the business. I just take what I need for my expenditure. I don't, I just So there no, there's no barrier. There's no, you just take. I don't take. That's not how you run. You don't just take. No, I have, I have books. I have books of accounting. I have books of accounting. So I how have, much do you take every month from the business for about, yourself and your family? Okay, about two, two, 200 to 250. How many children do you have? I have three kids. How does 250 support a family of five? My, my wife is an entrepreneur as well. Everything is not just on me. She supports with everything. For me, the fact that you just take money out of the business when you have a need is a big red flag um, for me. I feel that what you need to do is invest in this end that you're in. To me, you don't need a hundred million naira because you already have a business that has legs. It's already working. You need people who are chefs showing people how to use this rice. Tell people about the benefits of this rice so you even grow 
your demand. When you grow your demand, you grow your supply, you're going to buy any machine that you want to buy. You will. So unfortunately, um, I will not be investing today, so I am out. Thank you, Charles. I like the product. Um, I liked your approach. Um, this is very much for me um, a middleman business, yeah, rather than you know a business where you genuinely control your value chain. Um, and that's the only reason that I'm not going to be um, investing alongside you. Um, but I wish you all the very best and thank you. The Pechim's brown rice business model is unattractive for Bolaji and Aldenike sees no need for an injection into the business. So they both close their minds and their wallets to Chukuma's request for investment. The last lion standing, Kiari Buka, is now ready to give his verdict. Charles, it's it's really nice for you to do what you have done so far. Um, my only consideration would be if the numbers were slightly different. Because when I am looking at the numbers, with a 4.45 million revenue and a 12 million profit, it tells me that your profit mar margin is somewhere around nearly 30%, 26% or thereabouts. Now, assuming that you're taking a salary, even if it, the salary is 3 million a year, that brings down the profit margin to 20%. But, the but food, I generally, has a higher profit margin. So for that reason, unfortunately, I'm out. Thank you very much, Lyons. Good luck. Thank you. It's rice out for Chukuma Charles today as he walks out of the den with nothing, with his lack of structure leaving the Lions mesmerized even after his exit. The, the problem is that most of our entrepreneurs think that they can be heroes by not collecting salary. Yes. And yes. they don't understand that they and the business are two different entities. Yeah. Two different, yeah. We call yeah. it and in investing the difference between personal pockets yes. and, and common pockets. Yes. 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 Lion's Den is proudly sponsored by Echobank and Chapel Hill Denim and supported by Bank of Industry and Development Bank of Nigeria with the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service as strategic partner. Mm -hmm.